New at six for the first time, Fresno's police chief and mayor addressed the proposed cut of a million dollars of funding for a controversial gun violence prevention program. It happened during the budget hearing for the Fresno Police Department. CBS 47's Medeiros Fab joins us live from Fresno City Hall in Medeiros. Community members took over the discussion today, demanding that the city reinstate money that was originally slated to go to advance peace. That's right, Catherine. And inside these chambers, the discussion today was supposed to be solely on the police department, but it quickly shifted to the parks department's budget and advance peace. And today, the police chief saying that the end of the partnership between PD and advance peace was due to trust issues. Obviously, uh, trust was uh, highly and severely violated. Okay. Right. And my pastor always told me trust is given, mistrust is earned. Okay, so mistrust has to be, or trust has to be built back, and I didn't create that. For the first time publicly, Chief Paco Balderrama explained to the city council why the police department ended the partnership with Advance Peace, a program run through the Economic Opportunities Commission aimed at reducing gun violence. Balderrama says although he initially supported the program, an Advance Peace employee arrested for conspiracy to commit murder, leaking of confidential information, threats against at least one city council member, and interference with an investigation led to the department cutting ties. How can I, in, in, in a sound mind, proceed forward with continuing to work with them? Can't do that. The comments sparked outrage from audience. Listen, we're going to have order in this chamber. Many of those audience members spoke earlier in the meeting demanding the city reconsider cutting funds. You have to first, again, stop the bleeding. Why would any public servant ever cut a program that saves lives and saves families and communities from a lifelong journey of trauma. In December 2021, the council approved $950,000 in federal funds to go to advance peace. But after PD cut ties, the city manager and mayor decided instead of giving money directly to EOC, the money would go into a fund for gang prevention and intervention grant program. Organizations would then have to apply for this money. I have no doubt they've stopped shootings. The whether or not I support advanced peace depends on the model and the criteria that is established. The process works, but that's not to say that the end justifies the means. There has to be safeguards put in place to make sure that it's done in the right way. And that's, I believe, what the motion was today. Now, again, Dyer was asked about whether or not EOC and Advance Peace would be eligible for that $950,000 grant money that would be in the Parks Department. He said that they could apply, but he would not say whether or not they would get that money because he says that that taints the application process. And once again, this money, nearly a million, is in the Parks Department budget, not the Police Department's budget. Reporting live from downtown Fresno, Medeiros Bab, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.